guys, my name is Maddie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. For this week's video, we are going to be talking to you about three new members of my family. Um, and they are big, they are long, and they have a lot of legs. And they are called African Giant Black Millipedes. Um, technically two of them are mine and one of them is Tyler's. Uh, we went in on these guys together because they are very, very hard to find in captivity in the United States of America that are captive bred. And we ended up finding a group of them for sale on an Instagram page and we bought them. So they came in about two weeks ago, I think. And after watching them for a week, making sure they were healthy, I am finally setting up their enclosure, their final enclosure, or at least for right now. And I wanted you guys to be with me while I set it up. So we're gonna do that today. But before we get started, I'm going to introduce you to them. I'm only going to introduce you to my two, not Tyler's female. Um, but mine have names and I'm going to show you them and show you that they're not very scary even though most people might think they're creepy, but they're actually really cute and they remind me of little trains. I think they just look like long little trains. So, um, their scientific name is Arcrospirostreptus gigas, I believe. I'm gonna double check that also known as the A gigas. Uh, they are the largest type of millipede and they are very, very large. So the three that we bought are captive bred and they are adults, so they're pretty big. I hope we have them for a while. I know sometimes like, you know, they'll get to adult size and then die pretty quickly afterwards. So they are pretty big at this time. Um, I'm not sure if they'll get much bigger, probably not too much bigger anyways, and hopefully breed and make wonderful little African giant black millipede babies and then hopefully we have them for a few more years before they pass away. I'm not exactly sure how old they are, so. They seem pretty healthy. They devour food so quickly. It's amazing. Like you'll put like lettuce or a zucchini in there and it'll be gone like very shortly afterwards. It's amazing. So without further ado, let's introduce you guys to my African giant black millipedes. So here they are. Well, one of them. This is one of them. The male, which I actually haven't really even figured out which one it is yet. I think this actually might be the male. Holy moly, I was right, this is the male. Wow, okay, so the males are missing legs on their seventh segment. That's how you tell their um, their sex. And so this is actually the male. How pretty. So this is Pete, Pete the millipede. And he is my male African giant black millipede. As you can see, he's very long. He is not venomous like a centipede would be, which look pretty different from these guys. Also long and lots of legs. Don't they look like a train? I think they look like a little train. They've got the cutest little antennas to feel around with. If it would stop focusing on my face and actually focus on something cute, that would be amazing. Don't fall. So there is Pete. Now I will introduce you to Millie. The so next we have Millie. She's on a piece of cork bark and I'm not gonna take her off of it because why would I want to unnecessarily stress her out when she's already, you know, chilling. So it's really, really focusing on my face here. I'm sorry, but this is Millie, one of Pete's two girlfriends. And isn't she so pretty? She's got a lot of legs, and I'd imagine she would look very pretty in a lot of little high heels. Also terrifying in a lot of little high heels. That is Millie, she's on the move. So there she is, so today, I'm just going to be setting up their enclosure. So right now I just have them in a little display case. It's about as long as they are, which is not good long-term. I ended up buying them a nice big bin, which I'm gonna show you here in just a second. Um, that's about twice their length um, and pretty deep. So hopefully they'll be more happy and they can do some more burying activities in this bin. So let's move on to the bin. Here's the bin. So it's already full, not exactly full, but about halfway full-ish with organic potting soil. There's no additives to this potting soil and it makes a really good base for millipedes and isopods. So I already put in the organic potting soil. Now I'm going to add a bag of Josh's Frog's Millie Mix. So I'm gonna just dump that right on the top. And then they also have about half of a bag of the Millie Mix in their current enclosure which I'm going to be putting into this enclosure as well because with millipedes they lay their eggs in the soil and you don't want to like throw away the eggs so you don't want to get rid of the substrate for a couple months after they're done using it. So 
stuff. I have that bad boy in there. But since their substrate in their display case is still so new as well, I'm just gonna add it in here. Especially if they've already, you know, laid eggs in it, which I hope they have, but probably not. And then I also have two big bags of oak leaves. I probably won't use the two giant bags, but we're gonna probably use one. Um, we'll see, I want a nice, a nice leaf layer on top. And then I also have some cork bark to put in there for them to climb on. Cause you know, you saw Millie, she likes, she likes her cork bark. Don't want to deprive her of her pleasure. She also just pooped on the cork bark. Don't fall. Oh, shoot, it fell. This is a mix of two kinds of isopod subs, or not isopod substrate, I'm sorry, millipede substrate that I purchased. One of the mixes that I use is the Millie mix. The other one I got off of Bugs in Cyberspace, I believe, something like that. Um, and I've had that bag for a while. I just used the rest of it on them. So it's a little bit darker than the Josh's Frogs mix. I also have some of this soft rotten maple wood that I'm going to crumble up in there as an extra source of food. So I'll just have some cork bark spreading it out. I have one more piece of cork bark. Oh, the millipedes are on it. I'll do that one in a second, I forgot. I was like, I'm missing a piece of cork bark. I'm just gonna break this wood up. They love this wood. My isopods go crazy for this stuff. So I might end up having to drill holes in here eventually. Um, my house is generally very dry. I have some um, isopod enclosures that have drilled holes and they don't stay moist enough unless I miss them like almost every day. So I didn't want that to happen. Hey, Pete, don't come out of there. Okay, so that's probably enough wood for like, you know, a while. I also give them vegetables, but it's really important that they have a good substrate mix. Now we're gonna add some oak leaves. Okay, so I actually probably am gonna use a lot less than I thought I was going to. Well, okay, yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna like. I'm gonna like mix it around a little. It smells like the forest. Now we've got our oak leaves, it's time to- Ah, Pete, why are you- where are you going? Pete is on the move. My hands are messy. It's fine. Pete, come here, dude. He's coiled up. So when they get nervous, they- Oh, he's pooping on me! <laughs> Pete! What the heck? I'm gonna put Pete in here. <laughs> Don't be afraid, it's your new home. And he leaves behind a present. Thank you, Pete. Thanks for nothing. And everybody else is on this piece of cork, so I'm just gonna set them in there. Low class, Pete. Here we go. Ta-da. There's their enclosure. I think it's 24 inches long by, I don't really know how high. So, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Millie and Pete and watching me set up their new enclosure. I hope it really goes well for them. I will let you guys know and keep you updated on whether or not I change anything in this enclosure. Pete, God, Pete. And Pete is really causing some issues here. I hope you guys enjoyed meeting my millipedes and watching me set up their enclosure. I'll keep you guys updated on how they do and if I get any millipede babies, fingers crossed that we do. Um, and if I change anything with the enclosure, because obviously I've had millipedes for quite a while. I've had my millipede legacy for over a year now, and he is still much smaller than these guys, but he is also the same kind of millipede and he's been doing really well. Um, still alive, still thriving. So I hope that these guys are also equally as happy as legacy has been over the past year and they give us some nice millipede babies. So I will keep you guys updated. And thank you guys so much for watching. Pet Fest is coming up next weekend. You guys have less than 10 days to get your tickets and come visit me in Phoenix, Arizona, and it's gonna be a blast. So I hope to see you there. I have to go wash my hands. I'll see you guys next week. Please subscribe. Bye.